We're now running an air conditioner in our off-grid shipping container house. It's running on solar power. This is how I did it. On a regular summer day, my batteries are charged by 11 o'clock. On a hot day with no cloud cover, they charge by 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't have a grid connection to sell back excess energy. All the electricity I make after the batteries are charged effectively goes nowhere. This excess energy is at the height of the sun. I'm going to use it to run an air conditioner. This is my portable air conditioner. You can see from the spec sheet that its maximum cooling capacity is 4.4 kilowatts. However, the power needed to drive it is only 1.25 kilowatts. Before it arrived, I was skeptical that a portable air conditioner may not be the best choice. However, after we got used to it, it's proving to be a good buy. Using my thermometer, I measured minus two and a half degrees coming out as the blower. I think this is tremendous. On a sunny day, we confirm the batteries are full at 10 o'clock in the morning. We can then run the air conditioner till about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. When the sun dips below the trees and puts the panels in shade, we switch it off. After six hours use, the batteries are still full and we've only used solar energy. I like the idea of an air conditioner that doesn't have a battery, just runs on panels. However, when a cloud passes over, you get an interruption in the electricity supply, which could potentially kill your air conditioner. So the battery is actually essential. Battery just provides a smooth power throughout the day. What I do want is the panels to do all the work. I'm currently using a temporary window vent to exhaust the hot air. At a later date, I'll use a wall mount. This was the second air conditioner that I tried. I explain why I chose it in a lot more detail in the ebook. You can see the book in more detail at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com where you can purchase your own copy. Thanks for watching. For information on the ebook, go to buildshippingcontainerhouse.com. To follow our progress, subscribe on YouTube or you can follow us on containerhouse.wordpress.com.